Hey guys, in this lesson, we're going to go over the timeline, layers, and stage properties of your project. This is some very simple stuff that we'll be going over. However, it's essential to learn early so that we can build upon more advanced stuff later on as we learn Flash. So to get started, open up Flash, and on your splash screen, click the ActionScript 3.0 template so we can open up a new document and begin. Now the first thing I want to direct your attention to is the timeline. This is important because the timeline holds all of our frames as well as the layers. It basically maps out all of the animation in our project. If you're using the Essentials default workspace, you'll find the timeline right on the bottom of your screen. When you start off with a new document, you only have one layer, and you can see that right here with the uh, layer indicator on the left side of the timeline. However, if you choose to, you can add more layers, and you'll probably be doing that as you move forward, especially with more advanced projects. So first, let's look at the layers and see what they do for us exactly. To demonstrate this, Let's go over here to the toolbar and grab our shape tool. Let's select the rectangle, and if you don't have the rectangle available to you, simply hold down the mouse button and then select the rectangle from that submenu. The uh, colors of the fill and stroke don't really matter, so just come over here to the stage and draw out a rectangle. Now let's go over back to the shape tool, hold down the mouse button, and grab the oval tool. And now this time, let's change the color of the oval tool to green. So on your properties inspector, click the paint bucket icon color, and then choose a green color from the swatch. Now come back to your stage and click and drag starting in the rectangle and draw out an oval so that the oval is overlapping the rectangle. Now it looks like the oval is in front of the rectangle which that's what it appears to be right now. However, let's say that you wanted to move the oval over more to the center of the rectangle so that it's in the center of it. If you were to take your selection tool and then double click on the oval to select it and then move the oval over and release, you'll notice that it cuts off the rectangle. It takes a chunk out of it. This is because the oval and the rectangle are on the same layer. And you can probably see um, or gather from this immediately that this could cause problems if you have more advanced stuff going on. If you have a lot of stuff on the screen, it could make it very hard to organize things if you put everything on one layer. Another thing you can do with layers is select objects by simply clicking on the layer itself. So if you wanted to select the oval in this fashion and you clicked on layer one, you would simply select the entire, um, both objects. You would select both objects at once by clicking on the layer and that might not be what you want to do. So this is where the advantage of layers comes in. So let's make a couple of layers and show you how this is all done. But first, I'm going to delete everything off my screen by simply clicking on the layer and hitting my delete key. Now we can move forward with creating some layers. Now let's go ahead and make another shape. So come over here to your toolbar and we can select the oval tool this time for this demonstration. And let's pick a color that you like. So just click on the properties inspector, the color icon for your fill and choose a color that you like. In this case, I will choose red. Then come back over here to your stage again, and like before, just draw out the shape on your stage. 
Now, like before, we want to create another shape to overlap this. But this time, we're going to create another layer to put that new shape on. So to do this, come down here to the bottom of your timeline and click on the New Layer button. Now we'll have a second layer on the timeline. Now, when you click on these layers, for instance, when I click on layer one, you'll notice that it highlights that object. You'll also notice when you look at these two layers that the first layer has a black dot in it and the um, rectangle is gray. The second layer is white. This means that it's blank, that there's nothing on this layer. When you have the dot, there's something on the layer. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, the dot indicates a keyframe, which I will be getting to momentarily. But anyway, make sure you click on your new layer. In my case, it's layer three, but it might be layer two for you. And then come over here to the shape tool hold down your mouse button and select the rectangle tool and then select a new color and then come over here to the stage and draw the rectangle so that it overlaps the oval. Now, like last time, if we take the selection tool and then double click on the rectangle and then try to move it you'll notice that it remains separated from the oval and if we click on the first layer it selects that oval if we click on the second layer it selects the rectangle so you're now seeing one of the many advantages to layers in that it keeps things separated. It keeps things organized. And to further organize this, we could double click on this first layer to rename it. So in this case, we could just, once that um, field is highlighted, as you can see, we just can type in whatever we want. In this case, I'll name it oval and then hit enter. And then for the second layer, I can just double click and then type out rectangle and then hit enter. This is also important if you have really big projects and you have lots of layers because that way you can organize your layers and you can refer back to them in an easy manner. Let's take the organization a step further. For this demonstration, make another new layer so just click on your new layer button on the bottom of the timeline double click on it to name it oval 2 and hit enter then come over here to your toolbar select the oval tool and then let's pick another color that's different than the other two shapes i'll just pick yellow and then come over here and just draw an oval wherever you choose. So we'll just click and drag and draw out an oval like that. Now let's say you want to organize your timeline so that all the ovals are grouped together in a folder so that you can easily access those folders. Maybe you're doing a cartoon where you have a forest and you have different trees in the forest. Well, you can make a forest folder on the timeline and put all the trees in it. It just helps you organize. 